Okay, this is Sue's 11 Tarot. Okay, so I just finished doing the moon uh, in Aries reading, and then I just shuffled some cards and I got these. Okay, so I kind of wanted to go touch on this real quickly. Okay, so um, the first house, let's see what it says here. Physical body, outlook, self-image. Yes. Okay, so I feel like a lot of us are working on the body, self-image, um, looking within, and that was kind of depicted in the moon reading also. Okay, and... Um, okay. So... Uh, Okay, so the Sagittarius energy came in, and then I was like, okay, so um, I feel like that's our um, side that, uh, uh, you know, is like inquisitive and kind of wants to travel and investigate and go out and, and journey, do journeys and trips and seek ninth house. <laughs> and um so i feel like a lot of people may be harnessing that sagittarius energy um to go uh explore is what i'm picking up okay so and remembering to take uh love everywhere uh you go right okay now this is what was interesting okay so this opposition balance sign came out Okay, so the opposition of Sagittarius, right? Let me get my chart. Okay, so the opposition Okay, so the opposition is what was that? Okay, Gemini. Okay, so think of the positive aspects of Gemini. That's what you would want to take if you're a Sagittarius also, okay? Having positive communication skills, um, saying the right things at the right time, um, you know, um, and, and uh, what else? Oh, okay, so the Gemini, okay, so this is like that motherly love, right? Okay, so Gemini has... Uh, Ceres, C-E-R-E-S, or Ceres, Ceres, uh, in the placement right now. So I think of that as that motherly love. Okay, let's see what I get. Okay, so this is the kind of love we want to take when we're moving along in our energy because this is that unshakable unconditional love right um for the most part uh, we're talking about the non-physical mother okay if some of you are you know kind of going eh. <laughs> okay so um and also that's interesting because that mother card that looks like virgin mary came out in another reading where is that okay and um that was a popular card this week too um so maybe that has something to do with this message today like carrying that deep unconditional love wherever you go with that open inquisitive um mind with um and having great collaboration skills, like coming together with people. And let's see. Knowing how to nurture the self, right? When it's time to nurture the self. When it's time to take me time and, uh, you know, take care of yourself. And um, recharge your batteries. So, um as I'm saying that, let's be mindful if people take vacations and stuff, sometimes they need it. And sometimes, you know, when you take time out, you can come back greater and better, right? Uh, with more, uh, bo your body charged up to do the things that you need to do. Okay. Oh, it must be in the other deck. Okay. Okay. All right, well, anyway, it was like the mother card came out. So it's like nurturing the self and nurturing others and moving in that unconditional love. 
Okay, so um, here it is. Okay, so, all right, so. So then we touched on Ceres and we trust touched on moving about traveling and being inquisitive and exploring new things and feeling empowered and being open to the mystery, being open to the mystery of things, right? Not needing to know everything and moving along and trusting, right? And allowing, okay the uh, non-physical energy to move and f and flow with us okay so um and then ninth house reputation let's see what this is foreign travel adventure high education customs faith beliefs pilgrimages uh spiritual quest aspirations journalism religion gurus and risk taking okay all right, so I find it very curious that this opposition came with the ninth house, right? Okay. All right, so the opposite of that, we already did that, Jim and I. Okay, so, all right, so now let's talk about that. Journalism is popping up here. Okay. So as we're moving in our energy, and if you're a journalist or a writer, you want to make sure that if you are um, uh, to perceive with many eyes or even, you know, to, to see from uh, multi points, okay, and, uh, and not just present uh, one uh, story for sensationalism is what I picked up. Okay, and we're not doing these reportings, are we, for what? For the numbers. Okay. All right, so, okay, so that was a little side there. I don't know what that was. Okay, I, I know what it is, but we're not going there. We're doing other stuff. Okay, so, all right, so now what I really wanted to do was... Um, since we're here, because see, these cards came up too. Okay, so Saturn and Moon. Okay, we already did the Moon reading. Saturn is, uh, the return is in Aquarius right now. Okay, so we already touched on Libra. Libra was the opposition of Aries. And Jupiter, we already talked about that. That's in the, um... Aquarius also. Okay, so there was a whole video on that. Okay, now, so we touched on this. Probably, um, you know, wanting to explore more is going to come in. Okay, so um, working on the physical apparatus and self-image. Okay, clearing out the consciousness to allow the new. Okay, being open to mysteries and trusting. Feeling empowered being in your personal power, loving unconditionally. Okay, and let me go over this part real quick. Career, responsibilities, achievement, competence, fame. Okay, so um, authority figures and empire is what I'm picking up here. Okay, so all right, so, you know, all right, reputation. Okay, so the thing with that I'm picking up mostly is being your authentic self and presenting that to the world, okay? And um, being truthful in your expression, your beingness, showing the real you, right? Okay, so I'm picking that up. Okay, so what I wanted to do, though, if I have time. Okay, I do. Was in this video go over the self-care. Okay, so we were talking about Aries. So let's do the emperor. Okay, emperor. Mind, body, and spirit, emperor. 
self-care card because that's your primal self right um, and a lot of people may be harnessing this energy so that's your primal self your some people who are into chakras would say that's the first chakra right okay perhaps all right now so here we go uh, we have a lot more chakras than uh, you think <laughs> okay so um, mind body and spirit okay this is for the emperor it's this is a mind it's difficult to be productive and focused when working in a chaotic messy environment make time to clean up your workspace tidy your desk deep clean your drawers and organize your paperwork you will feel so much better <laughs> this message has been a theme and also um, picking up here okay everything has energy too right so that's emitting so as we uh, like they're showing me a Zen you know uh, area <laughs> you can do your mind like that and you could do a Zen uh, type area cleaning too <laughs> okay well I, I have um, I, I was brought up in to save everything, so <laughs> I'm working on it. It's a work in progress. All right, now, body. The emperor encourages self-discipline and self-improvement. Use this card as inspiration to make a small, healthy change in your diet. Consider hydrating more, cutting out soda, or asking your doctor for vitamin recommendations to support your overall wellness. Okay, now. I say go to the doctor because you may have some things, but I would first go within and meditate and ask for if you needed any herbs or vitamins. A lot of times you don't even realize that you're in the grocery store and you need a certain vitamin or something and you'll get an impulse to buy some kind of vegetable that you haven't eaten before or something like that. So pay attention to that when you go to the grocery store and kind of... Uh, listen to your uh, gut as you're moving along in the grocery store. All right. Now is a great time to address power. This is spirit. Now is a great time to address power struggles in your life with confidence and level head. Value and respect yourself enough to make sure. Oh, this came out in reading. Value and respect yourself enough to make sure your needs are being met by loved ones, employers, and anyone else who plays a role in your daily life. Okay, well, I, I kind of would flip that a little bit. Um, I would value and respect self, okay? Uh, and as you move in that energy and emanate that, you will experience that i feel like if you're out trying to get it from somebody then you're gonna that's a little bit of resistance there so the best way is to respect yourself and value yourself and love yourself okay so that's emperor okay and do i have time for sagittarius i do okay let's see Okay, so since we're tr we're wanting to, um, uh oh, here we go. <laughs> okay, so that's another practice too. It's like. Hold your vibration like when my dog's barking and, uh, you know, I could like really get into let her move my energy. But it's like practice that if you have kids or anything, just hold your energy steady. And then eventually it will subside. She'll calm down in a minute. Um, here we go. Oh, how did we get to justice? Okay, well, let me go ahead and lead the, read the Libra then, since we did Emperor, and then this is the detriment, the opposite. So let's read this one, too. Body. Center your energy and promote balance in your body by making yoga or Pilates a part of your morning routine. You could do chair yoga, right? Or, like, 
um, you know, restorative yoga where you're just kind of like stretching. Okay, mind. Find balance mentally by taking time alone to recharge if you are feeling depleted or by visiting an art exhibit if you are feeling uninspired. If you're struggling with your mental health, schedule an appointment with a therapist or a psychiatrist. Remember, asking for help when you need it is a sign of bravery, not weakness. And before that, I would go within first because that's where... Um, you're going to get the most help is to tune in to yourself and then if spirit suggests that you you know if you still insist on a psychiatrist or a therapist if you feel like you still need it they will guide you um, to the best doctor the best therapist okay so it's important to tune in all right now spirit Align your energy by honoring spirit, the fifth magical element. Make sure you're living in honesty and holding yourself accountable for any missteps you take. Okay, so I don't really believe in missteps. It's like uh, just kind of off the stream a little bit in different degrees, right? Okay, but I don't see that as a miss. I always see everything as working out. Okay. If you have apologies or amends to make, now is a great time to do so. Okay, so um, there's that. Okay, and I feel like I need to stop the video now because I feel like it's... Okay, so um, that, I'll just, I think I'll make that as part two. Okay, thank you.